Sometimes you gotta say, devil, get behind me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's been a good morning and a rough morning. <clears throat> this part of the morning has been great. <coughs> I've been blessed to receive something that I've not received in while. Well, got a blessing over here from my little brother. And that's why that I come this morning. I didn't come to be used. I come to hear Brother Dave. I come down Job Street and I thought, Lord, I know you're able. And later it's going to be a little late and I was going to tell the brother that if there's any way that my sister and Darrell would come this morning with us hoping that they would use Brother David. He knows he lives close to my heart. He's uh, been a special little brother to me from the first time that I ever heard him go on the stand that saw for spirits. I felt something that day and I saw something that you don't get from man, you don't work it out, you don't uh, buy it. But it's a free gift of God. Mm. I saw that God had given him a gift if he would use it and strive better that the Lord would bless him. He gives us a work to do. And I get slothful myself sometimes and lazy and I'll think is it time for me to just step aside and hope that the young ones will be blessed I get in trouble a lot of times but as long as I live here on this earth I hope that there will be someone preaching salvation by the grace of God and that he'll give me ears to hear it with and a heart to receive. I've done been paid for my trip this morning. I was blessed to be able to hear the gospel preached yeah. one more time. Yeah. It fed my soul. It blessed me to rejoice one more time. That I felt something in here move that the world don't have to offer. But silver and gold, it didn't purchase it for me. But by God's grace, by Jesus, I shed blood, that I've got a hope that I'm going to live beyond this old troublesome world. Yeah. And I believe my hope is a lively hope. Mm. I believe it's Christ Jesus for me, the hope of glory. There's no other way from earth to heaven except through the Bible. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's the way, the truth, the life. He is a resurrection. He's our all in all. Amen. Even though that I get down sometimes, I'm just a man. <clears throat> I read of another man that <clears throat> even took Jesus down to the what? <clears throat> to baptize. And he yet got down. He wanted them to go and see if it was the walk. He was in prison. So surely a little old thing like me, Brother Bill, is going to get out from time to time. Yeah. But I look around and I see your churches. The numbers is little or any more, and I can't help from work. But the same God that started it in the beginning, I'll take care of it till he calls it home. Amen. We're just a little number here. Just a little number. But I'm glad and I'm thankful that I was sitting on my seat and I thought my brother David was preaching so wonderful. The same God that told Peter to feed his sheep and to feed his life. <coughs> that he's still given to feed the feet with. 
It's all in Him that we move and have our very be. That's right. We've got much, nothing to boast about within ourselves, except what the Lord's done for us. I look back over my life sometimes, and I begin to think what I've done things different. From an old boy, I felt that I wanted to serve the Lord. I always found joy in it, even as a young man. Before that I ever come into the church, but I'm telling you, I'd do something wrong. I didn't have to call nobody and tell them that I'd done it wrong. But I'd try to go out back of the house or somewhere and tell God that I'm sorry that I've done something wrong. So, you know, I'm not going to call you, I'm not going to call Brother Dave, Brother Ryan. When I think something wrong, I do something wrong, the Lord lets me know. That's the reason that I say so many times, and this is the way that I say it. If the Lord's done something for you, you'll know. Amen. I believe He raised me out of that water hole over Peter Creek, not saving me for a home in heaven. But there are saving in it. I left a burden in there that never bothered me anymore. I believe that I was raised to walk in the newness of life. That when all else has failed, I want people to know that I trust in the Lord. Yeah. And that I want to serve Him as long as I've got bread. Yeah. I might not be the most outstanding. Just a simple man by God's grace and His mercy. You know, I looked at you one time when I was laying there in my bed. I thought of it yesterday, this morning. That if God blesses me to get better when I get up from here, I want to serve the Lord. Yeah. Be about my father's business. I believe that's what I told you. What and you said, you'll be all right. You've been a blessing to me in lots of ways, Bill. Being there when we were down, the talks that we had had, the hope that we have in our brain that God has given us while we live here. Yeah. But most of all, when the little brother said, when old Lazarus was raised up, you know, we're going to be raised one day. We're raised as we go along in this old life. We get down. The valleys get low sometimes. But he's the lily of the valley, the bride and the morning star. He's everywhere and nowhere else. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Him, we move and have a very beings. He gives us breath, and He's the one that'll take it. He yet got a sovereign power that no power is over. That whenever He said, Arise, Lazarus, He still got that same power today. He can raise the dead, He can heal the sick, and He does. We see miracles yet this day that He does. He's still the same God. I'm the weak vessel. I'm the one that comes short. I'm a man. And as long as we live in this life, we'll come short in some way. You'll never be perfect. You'll come short. There ain't been but one perfect one here, and that was Jesus Christ himself. Had all power, both in heaven and in earth. None could stay his hand or ask him why I do a thing. We must be still and know that He's God. That's the God that I come to hear about this morning. I don't come to hear one that if I let Him do this or if I let Him do that. Our brother and I come 
trusting in the one that as I was a boy growing up, that I would go to my old grandpa and I'd say, Grandpa, I'm sick. I've got a toothache or this or that. What's wrong with me? Would you pray to your God? And Dr. Lay hands on me that I'll get better. Brothers, that's the God that I come to hear about this day. The one that even, and he gave me faith believing as a little boy growing up that I could go to my grandpa and grandpa could pray for me and that I would get better. Uh, he's still the same God today. Uh, you know a lot of people don't believe it that way. Uh, but I'm glad and I'm thankful uh, that God don't change. Uh, brothers, uh, uh, brothers, uh, uh, by faith you say through faith. That's not in yourself. It's a free gift of God. Yeah. 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 But we are His work from kids. Created in Christ Jesus yeah. under good work. I yeah. was born for four more days. Brothers, maybe this for a lot of things that is ordained purpose to child. And they will be. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers, we might not understand yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. And we might not be able to tell you about yeah. the fire of God yeah. yeah. like yeah. we'd like to. Come on, right? But I'll tell you this, he ain't changed a bit. He's still the same God today and forevermore. I'm the one that raised Lazarus up. He's going to wake these people yeah. up. All these cemeteries yes, are down in the sea. I don't matter where they're at. My brother, he knows where they're at. And he's going to raise them one day. And he's going to take them home to live in a land where troubles won't be no more. Thanks be to God. Sometimes I get a little homesick and I want to say farewell to the world. I'm going home, my brothers and sisters. This God that I'm looking forward yeah. to meet in the air one day. I want that it's got a sovereign power hey. that no power is over. That He knows for every one of His children that hey. that are sleeping out here. I thank of them that they're trying to find out in that. And I said, I get this way sometimes. But then, when I come here this morning, all of you, even though it's late, showed me that love and that compassion that it was that we come for. That he bless us to put on the whole armor of God. And so we can understand the laws of the devil. That's all sometimes. My brother, he gets on his pretty rough. My brother Clifton. But I'm glad that I'm Thankful uh, uh, that it's not before us. Uh, uh, who needs yeah. it? Uh, uh, who will go with us? Uh, always, uh, even till the end. Uh, that's the God uh, that I'm putting my hand in. I'm not one of these little gods. God. Uh, as Brother Paul said, uh, uh, that you can let do something. Uh, uh, you can't let our God do anything. Uh, uh, but we pray to Him. Uh, if you yeah. do thy will, uh, uh, let us do this. Uh, or let us do that tomorrow. Uh, uh, we ain't got no promise of it. Uh, and Mother says, uh, uh, God's will will be done. Uh, yeah. uh, we must be still uh, and know that He's God. Yeah. 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 Over to the hospital. Uh, uh, she said, come here. I uh, want oh, you to get that old sad look off your face. Uh, uh, she said, either way, uh, it'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll be yeah. really done. Uh, and she said, I'm all right. Uh, either way. Yeah. Uh, oh, what a blessing. Uh, yeah. uh, what a blessing. Yeah. I feel that we lay down and we'll take our last breath. But it is alright. And we're going to sleep a little while. And then we're going to raise. And we're going to be like Jesus. And we're we're not satisfied too much of the time in this life. My brother, I'm thinking of all coming around our father go. Oh, sing to me of heaven. When I can call it out. I'll never tell my people. Sorrow, I know 
And I'll tell you this, uh, uh, you'll find rest for your soul uh, uh, whenever you're disobedient. Uh, uh, brother, if you think you can get away from him, I uh, know uh, uh, he's everywhere and nowhere else. I uh, read him, I uh, run from him uh, a long time. Uh, as I said from a little boy, uh, I knew that they was a God and, and that I wanted uh, uh, to trust in him. Uh, and I would get troubled, uh, I'd get down uh, another day. Uh, but I'll tell you this. Uh, I did not pay on the real stuff when I done that that he did. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. When you get to you lay down at night, you can't find no rest. I heard the man was talking about to the rest as they come along. I've laid up many a many a night asleep from I uh, tried to go to sleep and praying to God when he blessed me to just go to sleep. I had to go to work the next morning. I needed a little rest. A lot of times I get up and I hadn't slept none. I go down to work. I was even afraid to go out on the edge of the bank, afraid if I got killed. That torment was my home. My brother said, I'd say, well, I've got to straighten up. I'm going to do things different. I want to do things different. I ain't going to say these things that I've been saying. These things that I do that I know is wrong. I try to work out my own self-righteousness. Our brother, you can't do it within yourself. Yeah. How about whenever God is giving you, yeah. I give you a little yeah. bit. I turn around for the line. Uh, it's easy to manage. Uh, the old devil's going to find us, but I'll tell you this. That if the Lord be forced, who needs to be again? Yeah. I know what if we go along in this life, he ain't going to be healed and bowed. Yeah. How about he's down there with us? He don't talk yes, to us. He's always yeah. there. I mean, how many of you walk you from? How we don't look sometimes uh, up and say thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. brothers and sisters, uh, how we are blessed uh, if we got shoes uh, up on our feet. Uh, how we got clothes uh, on our back. Uh, how we got something to eat. Uh, how we got help to be able to be out here. Uh, I've been sick all month. Uh, I miss being able to go to church. Uh, I'd sit there for the lobby uh, and I'd seem like I'd get down. Uh, and then I'd pay. Oh, you know, I feel uh, a lot better off uh, than most. Uh, I think of Bruce, uh, Darles, uh, Brother Paul, uh, how uh, and he always has been the uh, one that works uh, and does uh, these things and still uh, uh, trying. Uh, he got cancer uh, uh, real bad, and I was sitting there the other day, uh, uh, stop and think uh, that's where that we ought to do. Uh, I was kind of feeling bad about uh, that I couldn't get out and I couldn't do this, uh, and I thought to myself, uh, I wonder what Bruce uh, I would give uh, to feel as good as yeah, I do today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to be thankful uh, that God has blessed me with this day. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, joking, I feel a little down, uh, but I'll be alright. Uh, the Lord will take care of me. Uh, sometimes we don't stop uh, and begin to think uh, how many blessings uh, that we are blessed with. Uh, mother, uh, I'll tell her sometimes, uh, and I think 86 years uh, uh, with us, uh, uh, brothers, we're blessed uh, uh, to still have her 
wrapped in the Lord sometimes I to get everything that we need to be done. We can't get it all done, Brother Bonnie. Just like I had a cousin up in Virginia this morning to lay in the whole acre funeral home. I thought I'd drive up there, but I feel like now that the Lord God sent me over this way. He told me that she wanted to hear Mother David. She bent down herself, and I thought maybe if God would bless him, I could be able to preach back that I've heard him many a time. That he would get a blessing. That she would be able to feel something this day. That she could forget about her pain for a little while. That's the God that I love to tell people about. That's the one that I love to tell them that I can feel from time to time. I ain't been able to preach and I don't know how long it seemed like. But it was my fault. I just felt like that my gift. I just needed to sit down and quit. Let these young brothers not have that I can do no more. But then I begin to think, you know, they are come from, they come from God out of heaven, they send her down, the brothers, we can't do nothing within ourselves, no. we can't preach, we can't sing, no. we can't do anything no. except for the power of power, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, he's the one that keeps us, they in that, yeah. I get ashamed of myself, I'm not ashamed to tell you, but I'm just an old simple man. Yeah. And then I get down too. We're flesh and blood, just like you all yeah. are. And if you want us to be able to pray, preach and sing to you, pray, pray for us. Amen. We need God. Yeah. Whenever you can sing out and help us, you don't know how much it helps. Yeah, oh, we need we need you. Oh, we need one God. another. Yeah, we need one another. Yeah. And I'll tell you this, that's what's got wrong a whole lot in lots of ways. I see a lot of things change. Sometimes it's the wind up of church. We'll hear one brother standing up here saying, by himself, when I was a boy coming out, everybody was making a joyful noise. They were saying, making them old songs and time. My brothers tried, out in the old way, sang as long as the brother is singing. See how much sweeter it sounds. Mm. Brothers and sisters, I tell them over at home sometimes, I look at them, and they'll be doing this, or they'll be going out the door before you can even get this list. I don't like to see that. And I said, I'm talking about over home. I think if we were to be there two and a half hours, at the longest to pray to your Lord, he's took care of us all week or maybe all month. And we don't even stop and think of that sometimes. Now that he has took care of us or finally been good to us. How about brothers now? I'll tell you this. How that from time to time, how we love uh, to be able to say thank you, Lord, uh, for all that you've done for us uh, already. But most of all, uh, what did I feel uh, right in here that one day you're going to do for me? Uh, that I'm going to meet you in the air. I'm going to home uh, to live uh, where there'll be no more of this troubles, trials, and tribulations that we see all around us. Just a little foretaste once yeah. in a while when he rolls back in the dark cloud, blesses us to see in part what it'll be like to be in heaven. So bless the name. Just take yeah. what it'll be when it's a reality to us. When we're changed from this old natural body to a spiritual one, be like him, then we'll be satisfied. I didn't mean to take too much time, but I, I've enjoyed the day. I've enjoyed being with you. I've enjoyed what that I felt. And as I said while I was standing there talking a while ago, this is the God that I want to hear. This is the one that I want preached over me uh, whenever I'm laying asleep. Yeah. 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 Just, we get a little short winded sometimes. <laughs> I tell you, every breath that we breathe, God gives it to you. Amen. Amen. It's a long one or But we want to be thankful for a while. Yes. I see people sometimes trying to get their breath. 
No, thank God bless your soul. Yeah. I remember an old brother one time used to come up on the job. And he'd stand there and seem like he gasped for breath. And I thought, then, you know, I was just a young man. And I thought, how would it be to feel like that whenever you can't get your breath? <clears throat> I've been there a, a few times and through life. It ain't easy. But God takes care of it. Yes, sir. I'd rather look at you sometimes and I think the doctors give you up a while back, a long time while back. Our God's still alive. Yeah. You don't think of the miracles walking around? Get up sometime. Get up. Look around in your congregation. I've seen brothers and sisters down to the point that I thought, what minute will it be that they'll be gone? And they're still with us. God did a lot. Yep. He's still blessing people to pray. Yep. But the healing comes in the Lord God. Thank the Lord. These doctors, they can do lots of things that they didn't used to be able to do. God's given them a lot of wisdom and not. But he's still doing the healing. Yeah. Yeah. He's given them the knowledge of what to do. But when it comes down to healing, still takes God. Yeah. Yeah. If you love him, you want to follow him. Did that to this people. Yeah. I'll just say that. Because let me tell you, the rest in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Dear boy, I know that I feel like I did the first six months after I went down on a hole over Peter Creek. I know you want to let take away at me again. Because I know it didn't hurt me no bit. I drive this in a few minutes and I left something in there that ain't bothered me since. Amen, brother. If you want to get the whole benefit of it, uh, he'll get you to let you get a grace over the way you're wrong. But if you want the whole Old things, as Brother David said, as no brother said up in Virginia one time, <clears throat> come on over. Jay was standing there with me, and Brother Billy Cook. He said, Young man, come on over. Come on over if you want the full benefit. He said, The vineyard is full and it's dirty, right and sweet. He said, Come on over. I never will forget that. Mm -hmm. I lay sometimes and I think back through the years, the blessings that we had, we have special ones. And the day that they baptized Brother Eddie Boss, I'll never forget it as long as I live. I was wanting to go out on a big rock and stand. It was about half the size of this stand. I was wanting to go out there and I was wanting to stand and watch them baptized. 